Look, nobody likes losing their job, but not all job losses are created the same. So save this video for when you have that dreaded three-way conversation, you, your manager in HR, so you know what you're getting into. Starting off with when you voluntarily quit. This is arguably when you get the least amount of benefits out of the deal. Look, I'm not saying you shouldn't quit your job, but when you're quitting, you're leaving a lot of benefits on the table. Keep in mind though that when you do quit, you are actually in a very good negotiating position to get your next job. When you quit, you are not entitled to getting a severance package. You're also not going to get unemployment benefits and it's up to you to provide a two week notice to your current company. You don't really have to do it, but it keeps you in the good books of your current company so you don't burn bridges and you're on good footing if you're trying to network and get a new job. Nothing against Seltzer, I actually love Seltzer, and this should not deter you from quitting your job. Next up, we have getting fired. This is coconut water. I'm not a big fan, but at least it's nutritious. So there's actually two different ways you can get fired. You can get fired for performance-related reasons, or you could get fired for really bad behavior. Spilled a bit of coconut water there. Speaking of bad behavior. Now, if you get fired for bad behavior, things aren't really looking good for you. But if you get fired for poor performance, there are a lot of things that work in your favor. You might actually qualify for employment benefits in the state that you live in. Additionally, depending on your employment contract, you may also be able to get a severance package. A severance package will mean that you are going to get paid for a set number of weeks after your termination date. So yeah, in a lot of circumstances, getting fired might actually be better than you quitting the job yourself. Finally, we have the thing that's been going around like the plague lately, the infamous layoffs. The event from which you stand to gain the most, paradoxically. This is oat milk. Big fan, in my opinion, it tastes better than milk, super nutritious, and it's great if you're lactose intolerant. What am I doing? This isn't a video about oat milk. If you get laid off, you are almost certainly guaranteed a severance package, and you're also covered in a lot of ways legally in the state that you live in. For example, if the layoff affected more than 500 people, you are going to be getting two months of notice period, which for big tech companies basically means they're going to be paying you for an additional two months on top of the severance pay that you're already going to get. And guess what? You're also going to be qualifying for unemployment benefits in the state that you live in. And on top of that, a layoff certainly does not look as bad on your resume as getting fired for performance reasons. You don't have to disclose any of that on your resume, obviously, but reputationally, getting laid off looks better than being fired. And that's because layoffs typically happen due to reasons that are beyond your control, such as market forces or internal reorgs within the company, etc. In summary, I hope you don't have to drink any of these liquids. I hope you're doing good and happy at your job, but if you're not, it isn't the end of the world.